Hey, what's up? Welcome to Backyard Smoke. I'm your host, James, and I appreciate you guys coming out today. It's going to be a real cool video. I'm going to show you guys my process to making some beautiful ribs on the Oklahoma Joe. I love using the stick burner to make ribs whenever I have time because the flavor is unparalleled. You're not going to get it, you know, with a gas grill or with an electric grill. You'll get a good flavor with a charcoal grill, but the stick burner, pure wood, play you don't know what you're missing so let me come on show you guys how we get this done it's real easy let's get started so to prep these spare ribs my normal process usually fill around them make sure nothing's like pointy or any type of thing from the manufacturer is in there grab my butter knife and start to remove the membrane. It's a very easy process. Get to a paper towel and start pulling on it. Usually it can come off in one piece, but sometimes like this one, you'll have a few extras. No big deal. Simple as can be um, once you get it out. All right, so once you got that membrane removed, go ahead and remove the extra skirt from the back of the spare ribs. Don't throw this away. We're gonna go ahead and make some uh, wonderful rib tips out of this. It's real easy. Just put it into a smoker with the regular ones and slice it up and, and uh, braise it in some barbecue sauce. It's real simple. Then I go around again and just take off any excess stuff that's on there from the membrane. And I always want to make sure it still feels good. Now, go ahead and get your binder route today we are going to use mustard you can use whatever you like worcestershire sauce olive oil whatever you feel is best uh, for our rub today we are going to go ahead and use some count porcula a good friend of mine out of arkansas whose name is justin lloyd and has a channel called cask and q so he's mixing you know the whiskeys and the barbecue flavors so definitely go check him out i'll leave a link in the description uh, this rub is really good uh, has a brown sugar based tons of spices i went ahead and put it into one of my uh, shaker jars that's why i can spread it out a lot better but definitely go ahead and check him out and uh, use your favorite rub as well but always always be very liberal with the rub pork can take it and plus, it'll get you a really nice crust. So we're going to go ahead, finish up these slabs, and then we're going to go ahead and put these bad boys on the smoker. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to set my fire up. It's real simple. I don't do no special tricks. First thing we're gonna do is put some nice hot coals into our firebox. We're using BNB lump. I love that because it burns like wood, because it is. It's clean and it burns hot and gives me a real good base. So we get our door, fire doors all open. Next, got a nice little split of uh, apple wood here. And we're gonna start that one off. I'm gonna let this sit and catch for at least 30 minutes till I get clean burning smoke into my chamber. Now, I have my chamber set up with the extension, expansion rack, top tier, bottom tier. Over here, I have my, I believe this is my TP20 with the uh, two temperature gauges. These are not for the meat. Um, I know how to cook the ribs easily without taking temp. Go by feel. These are for the great temperatures that I don't trust my thermometers all the time. So we can move the meat if it gets too hot or something like that or too cold. But this way we won't, we'll kind of know where we're at temperature wise. So I'm gonna finish prepping all those ribs and we'll be back here in about 30 minutes when it's time to put them on. All right, so our temps are where we want them. We got some pretty good blue smoke coming through. 
we just put another log on just to keep the things rolling. Uh, one thing in Oklahoma Joe you always want to at least put a log on every 45 minutes um, to get it going or and keep it consistent. So we're looking good. And I'm gonna put these ribs on. Give them some good space. So here we go. Give me one sec. I got my hand, my glove. All right, so now that the meat is on, we're gonna let this work itself out for about an hour, hour and a half before we come back out and do anything. And I'll bring you guys back. All right, so as you can see, we already got some pull back on these ribs. They are looking delicious, but they're not done. We gotta do our last step. Now, if you know me, I love putting butter on stuff for the moisture, just to keep it going. Put about three pieces on these. Use I will sprinkle with brown sugar, but due to the brown sugar in the rub, we are not going to do that today. So we're just going to go ahead. I hope this foil is big enough today. Yep, just barely. And we're going to wrap these and leave them back on there. We'll say for about at least an hour, maybe less, depending on if I probe them differently. pack them up and ship them out all right so what we're doing we're going to check these out they look really good you got the butter melting down the moisture's there all we're going to do now is take these out of the rack lay them back on the rack for about 15 Whoa. minutes they could dry out and then we're going to go ahead and sauce two out of three of these and get these bad boys going right now we're sitting at about three hours total so far so by the time we're all said and done it should be about three and a half hours max all right i'll see you guys in a little Alright, so these been sitting here about 15 minutes. All we're going to do now, I just got to pick which two of the sauce. And on the bottom here, we got boil and stuff, so don't worry about that. I take that out every now and then. We're going to sauce the bottom one. And you know what? I think I'm going to just sauce the bottom one today. These already look good. I'm just going to sauce this one up. Let it go. I'm going to let it sauce for about 10 minutes. Let it sit. And then we'll call it a day. all right you guys so we are all done this is it we're gonna go ahead and take a couple of slices out of here no effort at all just slices right through bone curves a little bit but i lost my finger there oh man Look at that. It's just the bone just, oh, clean as a whistle. You don't, you don't get no better than this. That's how you know it's ready. It's good to go. Now my wife, she likes to fall off the bone. Oh man, look at that. The juices, the moisture. Oh man. Right 
family. This looks amazing. Look at that, the juice is just flowing out of it. Oh man. Let me, I gotta get a bite. I gotta get a bite. Let's go, let's get a bite. Apologies. So let me just recap this for you guys. We put these on for like two hours, at around 250, 275 max. We went ahead and wrapped them in some butter uh, for about an hour max. I don't go over an hour. I don't want my ribs dry. The butter helps keep them nice and lean and gives them more flavor. Then we pull them. We put them right back on the grill for 15 minutes. Just 15 minutes, let them dry you out from the butter and kind of just caramelize if you put sugar on them. The rub I used today did have sugar. Then for 10 minutes more, we'll just leave them on there for the sauce. That's it. Pull them. Now my friends, you get this wonderful, juicy, I mean, look at the juice, it's a drip, 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 baby. I mean, this is good, you don't get no better. Mm. Tender rib. Wonderful. All right, everybody. I gotta go feed my family, they hungry. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, if you like this, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys next time around. God bless.